Hi, Stephen Green here, founder of the Property Investment Academy, and welcome back to the third video in the series of uh, how to improve performance. And um, today we're going to be covering the power of five. So um, we followed on from the first two videos. So um, initially we had measuring your productivity. You might remember that one where we had the personal on one side, professional on the other. And we, uh, we looked at how much time we do in each of these activities and uh, where we can sort of clean up our time a little bit. Uh, today what I want to cover is the power of five. Now, what do I mean by the power of five? Well, this is something that I, I've learned to do. So maybe it's like me, uh, in the past, you have one of these endless job lists, you know, the type that just go on forever. And uh, I even recall in the past of having this, these job lists, and if I'd done a job that wasn't on my list, I would actually write the job on there just so I could cross it out. So maybe it's actually you, maybe you do something like that, or you have these uh, overwhelming lists because at times them lists for me were really overwhelming. I remember actually reading a book on productivity and having a look at my list and seeing um, which areas, what was actually important and um, what was just on the list for the sake of it being there. And, and I was gobsmacked because on this list where I had about 20, 30 things, a huge list, and there was actually about three or four things on there that needed to be done that were, were important. And most of them, to be honest, didn't even really need doing. So what I like to do now is I don't have endless job lists. Now I found this to really help my productivity. So I use, this tool of the power of five. So what I like to do is each day is I have um, one to five and uh, I look at what is the most important things that I could do for the day. So what five things could I do that are gonna have the biggest impact on my life and on other people's lives? So that's what I like to work on because then I know it's it's uh, purpose-based, it's something big, and it's working towards those personal or professional goals. So this is what it needs to be doing. These, these, these five things need to be working around that, that first video that, that we've done. So that might even be, you might have recognized that you need to spend a little bit more time with a wife or with your, uh, with your husband maybe, and uh, you, you maybe want to uh, get out for a meal or something like that, and... Uh, one of those days, it might be a Saturday, and you're actually gonna put that in there that you're gonna actually do that thing. So it could be around your personal or professional. Now, if it's around your professional, that might look like something like going to do a couple of viewings or having an appointment with the accountant or a, a mortgage broker, something along the lines of that. I write um, one to five of the most important things. So if I've got a job list and, and there might be um, 10, 15 things on there, I'll have a look and I prioritize them from one to five. Now, the most important one uh, would go to number one. And then the second most important, number two, third most important, and then following on with numbers four and five. Now, what you do with this is once you've got your five and they're the things that you want to do, you only need to do five things. That's the great thing about this. It's just five things that you need to do for the day. You write those down in order and you focus on number one. So you're not even thinking on number two, number three, number four, or number five. You are just focusing on number one. This is your most important thing. I like to call this eating your biggest frog first. So we eat the biggest frog first, we do the most important thing. Once we've done number one and we've worked on that and we've completed it, we then move on to number two. We completely forget about number one because it's been, it's done. We're not thinking on that now. Our focus is on number two. And then we do the same for number three, for number four and number five. So you only actually need to do five things a day. Now, I like to do this now, you might do this seven days a week. I like to do it just five days a week. So for me, I do it Monday to Friday, and that works out uh, if, if you're doing um, uh, five each, uh, each day, and through the working week, it'll give you 260 minor goals. Now, any success is just incremental progressions each day. So it's just getting these things and building, building, building and getting momentum going. You don't have to 
do these huge life-changing things. It's just successful people are very consistent and they're just doing these things every day and they're building. And that's a little bit like me with my property portfolio. So the, the, the deal that I'm doing at the moment, after that deal, I'll be up to 73 units. So 73 um, different shops, houses, flats, a mixture of all these different things which um, I let out and, and make an income off. But they all started with just one single property, just one buy a let property. For this exercise, which I'd like you to do now, is um, if you've got one of those job lists in front of you right now, then go and have a look at that job list because that's a great place to do it. And then prioritize what's actually important, what really needs doing on there, what's going to have the biggest impact on your life. Now, um, don't get sucked in to doing these things where um, it feels like it's, it's, it's an urgent thing to do um, and it's not. It's, um, it's maybe something that you can um, pass on to somebody else um, or I would dare to even say that sometimes you don't even need to do it and, and I'll just get rid of them off my list completely. This will allow you to keep focused on the main thing. So when you do the exercise now, have a look and uh, if you don't maybe write job uh, a list this is still a great way to start so have a look at the five things that you could do that are going to have the biggest impact um, on your life and other people's lives and base it around that personal and professional uh, list which we done in uh, video one that's the final video of this three-part series on productivity i uh, hope you've got something from that feel free to uh, comment like and share these if you've got value from them and me and one of the team will aim to get back to you with a with a question um, as part of these video series uh, you should receive these if you've logged on to the property investment academy if you've seen these on youtube or somewhere else then uh, search for us on the um, you can actually search there should be a link somewhere around where you can click on and you can attend one of our one day events free of charge so um, if you if, if you do that we'd love to see you there on the day where i can add even more content more value to you and let's see if we can speed up those results even more thank you Stephen.